All right, guys. We know it's been a little while since we uh, was able to make any kind of video. But uh, I'm gonna show you where we at, what's happening. Get y'all back. Let me show you what's been going on with it. We got the little mini pretty much all put back together. I gotta get that seat and uh, restrap those wires and stuff. And on the cage, like I said, decided to go with the bed liner because everything else wasn't holding. It looked like it was holding pretty good. And uh, the exhaust filters that I got, not the exhaust, the intake filters that I got, it was actually too small. Went back with the other ones, and we got the blades in for the for the props. There last week, and uh, but they didn't send the pitch blocks. So I contacted them last week, and uh, yesterday they just sent the pitch blocks out. So it may be a few more days before we get to try this thing again. And these engines don't come in an alternator. That's a Put an alternator on it. What that is, it's a uh, old John Deere 20 amp alternator, and it all went on there pretty good. The only thing I had to do was machine that. I don't know if you can see it or not. The machine that pulled it down just a little tiny bit to clear the to clear the bolts on the on the adapter adapter bar sprocket. And uh, the only thing I'm a afraid of when I'm come time to take that back apart it's gonna probably be an issue it's gonna probably be a real good job but I did put some never sees around the, the locking device not on the shaft just on a place that clamps down to the shaft and we got the you know the little bracket made should have probably made that just a little bit bigger but it looks like it's holding just fine but as soon as that prop comes in we're going to put this thing back in the water. Time for the test run.
This like she goes. She moves. Guys, we uh, we back from our first real test run, and uh, we still need to do a little bit of modification and tuning on this thing. We got going on the pitch blocks got I'm a little bit too aggressive on a on a degrees on a on a props. I'm not getting but 3,100 RPMs out of it, and not quite enough to really make it do what it needs to do. And I think I'm going to take. My fuel tank and put it right there where the battery is at. But I would, in order to do that, I have to move my seat up three quarters of an inch. And I think I'm gonna take the battery, either put it where the fuel tank's at or go straight down below where it's sitting at now. I think just a little tiny bit more weight towards the front will do us some good. Where, uh, cause right now where it's at, I have to. Having to drive a little bit, a little bit fast to keep it on plane, and it's making it a little bit difficult to make navigate them corners right. So I think if I bring that weight just a little bit more forward, it should do the trick. Other than that, it uh, it did good. It uh, shallow water did real good with me and Captain D in it. And uh, only other issue I'm gonna have to do is that uh. That CDX stuff I put on the trailer, that's going to have to come off. 
That's a uh, SL grip wage or even on that wetland. As soon as that boat hit that uh, hit that trailer, it pretty much come to a stop. But also, it did, it is a little sitting a little tight on on the trailer. Might have to you know take all that off and give it some more room. But all in all, it's gonna be all right, and I think we're gonna we're gonna get it to do just what it needs to do. But it is fun little boat though. Once I get to learn how to really drive it and get those little issues fixed out, I think we're going to have a real good time. Well, yeah, guys, thank you all for coming along, and uh, I hope you all enjoyed everything. And we're going to get this thing tuned up, and we're going to get some more video, but that's probably going to be a couple, two or three weeks away, depending on if I can get this stuff in or not. Yeah, guys, like I said, thank you all, and I uh, hope you all enjoyed everything.